Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here. I really quickly want to... My mic was turned the other way. I wanted to give you guys a very quick update. I'm sorry. Again, I hate I hate doing the updates like this, but I'm not going to make a professional production just for a quick update video. I wanted to inform you guys on some things that I've been working on and that you, I mean, you might be interested in. So uh, let me get it right out of the way real quick. For anybody who's interested in book stuff... I'm making a better way for you to consume the book. Now, you know I've been working on the audiobook for months now. I mean, I don't even know how long, four to six months now I've been working on it. And we are over halfway done. By the time this next month rolls around in the middle of June, we're going to be over halfway done with the audiobook. And I do have a couple of the chapters that are in their final ACX form, like the Audible uh, format kind of thing that are ready to use. And what I decided to do was to go through the the website anchor that I use to make the podcast and the Hilary podcast and I'm uploading the audiobook chapters to Spotify, Apple Music and wherever else Anchor decides to distribute it. So you guys can listen to the audiobook for free when it comes out or you can obviously purchase the book if you want, which by the way, the Kindle and paperback are all at their lowest prices possible. Kindle is at $1. The paperbacks are like 10 cents above what the bare minimum is. And so yeah, it's all at the cheapest because again, I don't care about making money from the book. I just want people to read it and to talk to me about it. So I've been working really hard on that. So if you down below in the description, you're going to find three Spotify links. Uh, or maybe two Spotify links, one for the book um, that you guys can start listening to. Chapter 1 and 2 are on there right now, again, entirely for free, and they're they're narrated by the lovely Claire Glover, and she's done a fantastic job. But And then after that, I also am uploading short stories. I'm going to be uploading... The, the, you know, guys know that the... Uh, sorry, I'm kind of like... I'm a little bit rambly. You guys know the short stories, like the ghost stories and dreams I've uploaded on my YouTube channel? Well, I'm going to start uploading those as short stories on Spotify and such, you know, in the same vein as creepypasta stories or whatever have you, just uh, horror stories, campfire stories, that kind of thing. They're going to be uploaded. Uh, my personal experiences will be uploaded on there, and I'm going to be narrating it in that kind of tone. It's not going to be like a YouTube commentary. It's going to be the you know, the low, the drawl, the descriptive, intrusive kind of brain plucking kind of whatever. It's it's going to be talking like that. It's not the most diverse, like deep um, descriptive. I didn't spend a month writing the script for these stories. I just kind of laid out the stories in a very uh, not, not basic way, but enough to get the point across without overindulging. I'm not going to turn a very easy, simple ghost story into a four page, you know, 25 minute slow drawl readout of the experience when it's not even that in depth. But it will be, you know, significant enough for me to feel like it's worth uploading. The first part that's going up is three short stories of mine. It's going to be um, not even short stories. They're 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 um, ghost experiences, of mine, paranormal experiences. For instance, be the television ghost from when I was a child. Um, then we're going to be covering the time I almost disappeared in the forest. That's an interesting tale, which also has a sequel story to it. Funny enough, uh, realistic. It's a sequel story. And then there's one more that I covered in that too. I don't remember. Oh, the dream eater. Yeah, the dream eater that I had. And so those stories definitely have more details than I could. But like I said, I don't want to overindulge. I don't want to overstay my welcome with these. So the first collection of three short stories is only like 10 or so minutes long. And that will be uploaded as its own thing. The next story that I have that will be going up, which I have to edit, is the Do Not Enter the House. It's a very creepy um, experience that me and my dad had with this rental property that we were taking pictures of. And I'm, I have to edit edit that one down a little bit, whatever have you, but that's going to be going up as well. And then I have other stories. I've been writing out ghost stories for a little while now. I have a whole bunch. We have the Kankamangas Highway. We have um, stories of uh, when I worked at Dollar General and I had three ghost experiences at Dollar General. Um, I have the, the demonic pig dream that has haunted me twice to this day that I want to talk about and stuff like that. Just things that you may have heard from me already, old stories that I'm going to resuscitate for the sake of this short story podcast kind of thing. It's not a podcast, but you know what? It's, it's a short storytelling. And then on top of that, I'm also going to be uploading, um, narrations of creepy dreams that I've had. The one that I have right now is the Birch Walkers, and I think that's the first thing that's going up right now is the Birch Walker dream, which is only like a six-minute uh, short dream story. Outside of that, whenever I have other types of dreams, I'll try to remember old dreams, and I think I'm going to upload the pig one as its own dream story, obviously, because it's not a real, real paranormal experience, though it is an odd one. I'm going to upload that. 
as a dream story, whereas everything else, and they will be clearly labeled as this is a real experience I had versus this was a dream that I had. So that's going to be going up. Uh, so the book is going up as its own audiobook uh, podcast kind of thing on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever else that Anchor distributes it. And then the dreams and uh, paranormal stories will be going up too on, on a separate podcast. So make sure you please go ahead and follow both of those accounts so you guys can be notified. And I can actually make money through that for through advertisements, so I'd greatly appreciate it. And then on top of that, going from there, um, jumping over to more paranormal stuff, I made another YouTube channel where I'm going to be uploading it. I think I, it's right now named Paranormal Archive. I don't know if I'm going to change that name, but it's Paranormal Archive. And that will be linked down below in the description as well. And that's where I have all three parts of the tuberculosis clinic with a lot of I, – I, do I listen through it again? And I found even more voices and stuff, more EVPs that I captured on my cameras. And I boosted some of the audio again so you guys could hear even more because I didn't want to boost it too much to make it seem artificial. But everything that happened there was totally legit. And I boosted the audio so you guys could hear. And I tried to label everything. I just added new text. I like I cleaned up the videos to make them a little bit more professional and whatnot and also cut down some like more in-between stuff that was just wasting time but please check out the tuberculosis clinic that was really cool and I want to go back there someday and I'm getting back into ghost hunting stuff and that's why I'm recounting all these ghost stories so that channel will have the tuberculosis stuff it has both the DSLR raw footage and the GoPro raw footage up there and as I conduct more paranormal stuff I'm going to be trying to go on paranormal hunts again I had one of my friends house is a bit spooky and I want to check that out I want to try to any type of evidence that I capture I'm going to put up on there so please follow that channel it's not going to have consistent uploads but whenever I do upload something you know I'll try to make a big deal out of it because I'm not going to upload fake stuff anything I capture will be totally real and I want to archive it on there that's why it's called my paranormal archive so that's the stuff I've been doing right now, and um, twitch.tv slash agelincoln, and follow if you haven't already. I'm at 197 followers, and I'm trying to break 200, which would be fantastic. When I break 200 followers, I'm going to do a 12 to 18-hour live stream of pretty much whatever, maybe community day or something like that. I'm going to be doing whatever I can, so yeah. Um, that's mainly what I want to go over, just those few things. So please follow the, uh, the podcast, the story podcasts, and um, please check out uh, any of the book links and stuff down below. I would greatly appreciate it, you guys. Um, and that's really it. So you might go to the ghost podcast right now and not see any episodes. I think I'm only going to have Birch Walkers up at this point because, like I said, I still need to edit these and then get those live because it's a little bit of a process and it takes time for them to actually distribute. So just be a little bit patient, but just follow it first and then you'll see, you'll be notified when stuff goes up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy. Leave a like, subscribe, support, and I will see you in the next one. Fuck. I got to poop.